Generic greetings and welcome back to Prison Architect. In the previous episode, we started construction on, I don't know what you would call this area. Essentially, it's the area where we have some security for talking to different people because you can um, have, inf you kind of basically get informants, you get CIs and such, but you can only get that by having people go into solitary confinement and then recruiting them. So that's what we've got here as well. We've got our solitary and then finally we've got some protective custody, which is obviously quite big. So what we'll do is we'll finish off this episode. That's going to be protective custody obviously these two are going to be uh, normal we'll have access only for both of these um actually do i want that yes we should be fine there's nothing you can really steal from there as far as i'm aware although having that as access only is probably the way forward both of these so you only access these if you absolutely need to same as the bit down here um do I need to do the same with cleaning cupboard? I mean, you could do the same with cleaning cupboard and laundry because it means that you only go there when you absolutely have to. And it means that people can't wander in and nick stuff. So putting it all on access only is uh, fairly decent. It means that it does say that uh, people will try and avoid access only zones if possible, preferring to take other routes around your prison. I don't know how it works in terms of the prisoners. So we've got access only on uh, the cleaning cupboard. It means that people can't go in there and nick it. I mean, um, sorry, if you have an area for, say, for example, this as a staff only. If you have this as staff only, which I've now placed again, um, they won't access that at all unless they're really trying to break out. Whereas access only, don't know if it works similar to that. I really don't know. Anyway, danger level is going up and that's an interesting one. Let's go over to needs and we can see that there is um, a fair bit of privacy need and that's probably stemming from the dormitory. That's just something that generally happens. So... Yeah, there's nothing you can really do about that. You just have to accept that uh, that will be the case. So apparently those are not enclosed behind doors. And that is actually the case because I didn't place them. And I was about to buy it before loads of uniforms and sheet metal came in. Oh well, I guess I can't now. However, as you can see, the uh, income is quite good. So... Are people in the cleaning cupboard? They're not in the cleaning cupboard, but that wouldn't make any sense because they don't hang around the cleaning cupboard. They just go in there to get the chemicals to then clean up. So that shouldn't be a problem, but they are still working in the laundry, so that's good. At least uh, they are there. Although some of them are just wandered off. Or are they just moving? Oh, no, they're just moving... Just moving uniforms. Which we've got a high turnover of uniforms... Have a very high turnover of uniforms. That's because it's now an item that can get stolen. So, <laughs> yeah, that's why we have that. So, uh, we'll do the security desk at the front. So, we want a security desk in, like, so, for example. We'll have a chair there. We're going to have a chair. Oh, a couple of chairs around here, like that. And then we'll have a filing cabinet at the back. Or a couple of filing cabinets, why not? We can always put some CCTV monitors in there if we wanted to. Probably not going to bother for the time being, but there you go. So now that these are in, I want to have... I don't think I want anyone patrolling around here. We will have a camera, though. So we'll go for CCTV camera. We'll put one there, put one there. And we'll probably end up having one in here anyway. So I might as well just place one like so. And it means we've got all of our CCTV in. Now, how many CCTV connections do we have for this one it's in utilities and connections we have a total of one two three four five six and one two three four five i think they can handle is it eight a maximum of eight cameras can be viewed at once okay that's fine then so i can just connect this to uh so that's hang on is that on six did i say six one, two, three, four, five, six. yes yeah, so i'll connect it to this one then because then everything will be sorted so one camera two camera and then the third one there, which will be getting built in a moment because that door's just open, so I reckon it's installing. And. Nope. But there they are coming along. You can mouse over it now, and you get this highlight to so see where the worker is, and that's all now connected up. So we've got some visibility around here. That's perfect. So, let's check our policy. Excuse me. So, for destruction, so um, if the. If there's any destruction, um, they get um, solitary, and we'll say two hours. Escape attempt, we'll knock that to four hours, solitary. Uh, attack prisoner, two hours, solitary. Attack staff, four hours, six hours, solitary. Serious injury, we'll go for four hours. Intoxication, two. Murder, that's, another, that's a six there. 
And there we go. Uh, but we want to attack staff, solitary, serious injury, solitary, intoxication, don't do you want solitary? No, murder, definitely solitary. Found weapons, tools, and everything else. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take them off them, but we're just going to punish them as standard. So, knock that up a little bit there. Um, I'm going to say search. Now, if you put search, hang on, that's the thing. Search him and sell. So, that's, that's a question. If, if someone gets found with items, and they get searched, and it says search cell. If they're in a dormitory, does that mean everything's searched? I have no idea. I've never, as far as I can recall, experienced that. Anyway, so we now have these two cells to complete. So what I'll do is I'll put I'll put the um, the toilet and the shower in. So a toilet can go there, and the shower can go next to it. We now have a, there you go, we now have a tunnel found there. I'm just going to wait until they finish that off. So this is going to be our cells. So I'm going to make a model cell on either side. So it's not going to be max graded anyway because it's only a 4x4 four four and I think you need it a little bit bigger than that. So anyway, we'll have a bed um, there and there. We'll have a radio in there. Like so. Have a TV. Like that. Um, probably a desk in there. It's going to get a little bit cramped, isn't it? What if we get rid of the TV and put the... Hang on. Put the desk like that. Yeah, that's better. Then the TV can go... Hmm. That'll work, so they can just... <laughs> By the side and watch telly. Why not? We have radio, which can go there and there. And we want drains there and there. Shower. Head there and there. And let's just see what that's like. So I'm going to uh, turn that shake down off. Looks like we have found some tunnels. Um, they Oh yeah, they have been connected. So them two cells in the centre there. Looks like they have... Decided to start tunneling. Another one there as well. So it looks like for whatever reason these are uh, wanting to really tunnel out. And I don't know why. I guess because they don't want to be in prison. Which is understandable. Shouldn't have committed crimes I guess. Hindsight's 20-20 yeah. So we'll move them tunnels. Yeah that's fine. Then we'll place our metal floor back there and there. That's it. Job done. And then we'll have a look over here. So. That's now all in. Still not surrounded by uh, walls or doors. We'll go for a standard cell door on that one, one, two. And then we'll go for our room quality. So room quality is seven. Uh, needs a bookshelf and a chair. Okay, that's fine. We can handle that. So a chair will go um, there and there. And a bookshelf just as you come in on the door. Um, we can make it high grade by putting a... By putting a window here, but this one wouldn't be high grade because it has to lead outside and it obviously doesn't. And uh, certainly having a protective custody prisoner um, <laughs> in an area where they can see straight through a window onto the um, the solitary where obviously you would expect people to be, um, yeah, a little bit, <laughs> a little bit um, vexed them being there. Yeah, I, I don't think that's going to work out. This is Matthew Bromock. Brown, prisoner number 3872169. Uh, they've been in, they're in here because of, well, their recent misconduct, which, which is destruction, escape artists, attack staff, found drugs, and found tools. So, yeah, um, I've now recruited them as a CI, confidential informant, so we can talk to those if we do so desire. Later on, you don't want to do it straight away because it uh, brings a massive amount of heat down on you, uh, or down on them rather. So, I'm going to run some pipe work here. So, the pipe work will just run across, and then um, do I run it? Run it across and then down, or do we run it up in the center? Probably, probably closer to the center is the way forward, like that. There we are. Let's just see if that functions, and uh, as long as it's all connected, we'll be all right. So because this is a, um, oh, we now have enough money for placing like the wooden floor in here, which I've been wanting to do for quite some time. So I will do that now. Um, and do I want to do it here as well? Uh, six grand to do that? I really want to, but I can't afford it. But I want to do this just to say that I finally, finally got the uh, <laughs> the common room sorted. There you go. 
So yeah, that's getting all done there. So we want a wooden floor in security like that and then around to here. The rest will be concrete and go down there and then down to there. Same around here and then the rest will be metal flooring because I think it's uh, probably the way forward. In terms of the cells though, what do I want in the cells? We could have wooden floor in the cells. Um, no real reason not to, but I think we're working on the idea of... It doesn't really matter. Fancy tiles, maybe? Fancy tiles? <laughs> Makes it a bit different. Not better, just different. There we go, and then there's all the flooring in. Again, trying to place a lot of the flooring and switch before we crack them with other stuff. So a lot of other people here. Merriweather Hodgkins... Uh, strong. We'll recruit an informant. That person doesn't want to be an informant. And those do. So, look at this one here. So, we've got Dan Conahan. Recent misconduct has been attacking staff and things like that. Um, it says recent, but they've been in the prison 22 days. I don't know what's classed as recent. What would have been in the last five days, six days? It doesn't really tell me. Well, it doesn't tell me at all. Um, you can see that their condition has generally been fine and then a bit of suppressed on the right hand side there. Does that say KO'd? Oh no, there's been a bit where they've been knocked out there. Mood has been normal uh, with a mix between good and bad there. Program, uh, currently doing the foundation education program. Success chance is about a quarter, so it's not too bad. Could be better, could be a lot worse, certainly. It looks like the plumbing has worked in there, so that's fine. Just check our deployment. Yep, that cell block is still classed as being fine. So what I'll do is I'll clone these and start moving them along. And actually, no, what I want to do first is get legal, because we need to get permanent punishments. So there's a couple of ways of doing... Uh, there's a couple of ways of um, having protective custody in the game. So you can assign people to be protective custody. So I can just say protective custody or super max. Now, essentially, it's just another way of grading them. Uh, obviously, it gives you a different... Uh, it changes the colour on them. So it gives you a, a visual reference of what they are. And then you know in your mind that, well, look, if I see that they are big... Uh, you know, if I see it like a, a red... Um, a red jacket, you know that it's generally... Um, higher risk than the others not necessarily because you can there's not there's nothing stopping you switching around but in general and by the default options um you know that's that's what it is so protective custody you'll assign them to that but then that doesn't mean anything they'll still go about their business um they obviously won't walk into areas like for example in um here they won't walk in here or here because that's not assigned to them they can't go in there However, they will happily uh, just wander into the canteen and use the showers like everybody else. So that's a problem because they're in protective custody for a reason. And they come out at the same time, that's bad. So the two ways of getting around it are, there's more than two ways, but the two main ways are to um, change, well, it's to change your regime. Currently we have a minimum security and a normal security regime. Both of them are completely identical, so there's no problem there. However, you can change just one side of it so you can say right i want uh, this security to have something else than this so you can say when normal are in say the shower the minimum are in lockup and then you swap it around so they'll still interact with each other around the prison even then it's still possible to completely negate that with a very decent regime although it's quite inefficient because you have to figure out travel time and such and it's quite difficult to do but anyway um, they generally, even though they'll interact, they won't be sharing the same areas, which is good. The other way of doing it, which is my preferred way, is to assign someone to protective custody in like an area here, and then give them the permanent punishment. And then it means they never leave that cell. So all their meals are brought to them, and they stay there. But that's why I've graded these cells as 9, I think, and that'll be 8. Grade 9, apparently. Way above average. Requires an outdoor window, that's the only thing that could make it any higher. So the size is actually okay. So yeah, there you go. So, clone. Um, clone like that. One, two, three, four. A lot of money. One, two, three. And I don't think we'll have enough for that. I know we do have enough for that. Only just though. And there we are. And that's two, four, six, eight, ten protective custody cells. Which is... About right for what we need. I'll just pause it there because I want to have all the prisoners around the same area which they now are. Uh, go to 
uh, what was it? Intelligence, informants. So we need to have uh, for our protective custody one. There's an ex-law enforcement and a snitch, and oh, that's it. Now that's it. Technically, that person there with a question mark. Those that person, oh, and these ones with a question mark. They could be snitches. It is possible. In fact, it's quite likely. It uh, tends to be that way. But anyway, yeah. Just checking, yeah, that is definitely still assigned as yellow. That's good. If it's not, then you can have some problems. There has been times when I've built them e these extra ones, and then what's happened is they've brought <laughs> different prisoners in and then put them in the protective custody. It's a bit of a nightmare to deal with. Um, What was that dingling noise for? Oh, that'll have been our legal department. So we now kind of, but we can now get a lawyer. We can now hire a lawyer. I was going to say buy a lawyer, but that's um, probably slavery. So we'll avoid that. Um, so we're going to run the pipe work in like so. doesn't really matter. Which how do we do it? As long as it's placed, don't really care. There we are. I'm hoping it gets to the end. It should do. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, one thing I haven't utilised throughout this entire campaign, really, I think I did buy them, well, I did, definitely did buy them at the start, but I haven't used them, is the armed guards. Haven't bothered with them. Haven't really needed to. Haven't had any suppression effects around. We haven't got armed guards, we haven't got snipers, haven't got anything like that, but we're still doing alright. In terms of grading, let's have a quick look. Uh, Reoffending rate has gone down by a percentage, so that's good. 60 prisoners have been released, 30 of those paroled early, with none of them reoffending again. That's excellent, That's that's good. Not so good as the deaths in custody 3, but we've certainly had a lot worse. But it's worth bearing in mind that the majority of prisoners that we have are minimum security, which are generally non-violent. And you've got your medium security, which you can have some deadly and extra strong and tough guys there. But, uh, yeah, the, the only ones we've really had that's been a problem, it's it's really when you've got snitches and ex-law enforcement. That's where we've had the problems there. Um, so, what else have we got? Uh, yes, back to grading. So, grading, we have uh, security mm, slowly going up, health slowly going up, reform, that's increased, and punishments on the 7. So, overall, doing better. As soon as you get solitary, that it really does bump some of those numbers up. We're off the rookie numbers, and on the pro numbers now, which is good. Right, so again, look, more early release. That parole is working overtime. I reckon we could have another couple of par uh, parole rooms easily without any great difficulty, and uh, it would still be used. Um, so, th the visitation, I know I haven't completed it. I still am thinking about cutting this in half. Well, not really in half, but cutting it right down and then having um, an extra section. In fact, let's uh, go on the planning here. So, assuming it would be, say, around here, we want... Um, say 12 to there so that will be six that will be six um six booths and then in here could have these like so yeah we'd be losing some solitary not too bad though. It's seen a lot worse. There you go. There's no reason why you can't have uh, can't have them right next to each other actually. So I can say 15 to there, Six, seven, 18 like that, and they're all next to each other. We could do that. It just means I have to go around to there or there to go around. It's not a big problem though, is it really? Quite frankly. Don't think we need the air gap. Okay, we'll 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 work on that. We'll work on that premise that we'll do something like that, and we'll crack on with that in a bit. So these are all now put in. What I'm going to do is get ourselves a lawyer, which will now take up residence in this office, which has been vacant for ever so long. We will go for permanent punishments, but I believe that is five grand. It is five grand, and we don't have said grandage, and funds. So, let's go for, um, there's a spike in deaths there. I'm just going to check, see what sort of things we can see on the graph. So, there's the, there's the spike. So, day 22, day 27, and day 32? Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, they truly on on day 32. Looks like the graph only updates, um, for certain things. Yeah, it only updates when, um, 
there's a spike in it. So I thought well, I thought it would have gone down for day 33 because there was none there, but hey ho, it hasn't. Uh, funds you can see is <laughs> you can see this is where we're completing grants and things like that, and you know buying, get, getting grants in, and it's up and down, up and down, and now it's slowly just trending up as we make more money. We've got um, health grading, which has gone up right there. That's when we built uh, day 22, uh, 21. That's probably when we got some prisoners actually and started doing the. Um, Pharmacological treatment of drug addiction. That's probably when we started that. It's good to see that though. It is starting to trend down of, which is a bit of a problem. We have where is it? Um, profit. Oh, good grief! It's like ash burning. Uh, punishment grading is still about mid ground. It's actually slowly going down a little bit. It's been highest there. I don't know why. But hopefully that'll start going up later on. Now that we've got some stuff there, there's some extra punishment things in solitary. Hmm, and uh, reoffending rate. And it's slowly gone down. Down to 12 now. Is that down to 12? It is. Excellent. Cool. So we want to see. Right, so I've got enough money to buy permanent punishments. And we'll also go for a taser rollout. Because once I finish this little bit off here and place some flooring around here, it's time for this cell block. Also, this needs a purpose as well. I'll figure out what that is at some point. But yeah, we do need put, uh, do need something around here. I was thinking of having this as another building. Having some uh, parole here. A couple of paroles. And then maybe another common room or something. I haven't yet decided. Could even have another shower in there because, you know, the high-risk prisoners are generally quite violent. And little, you know, showering over here might be a bit of an issue, especially with the lower risk. But we'll see how it goes. I haven't even decided whether this is going to be a dormitory or not yet. I don't think I'm going to have a dormitory for for high-risk prisoners. It's going to be similar to this, but a little bit a little bit more spaced out. I know people have been asking me to use the uh, smaller cells where you just remove the need to have a 3 by 2 cell and you can have it as small as you can fit it in. I think the smallest you can make is a 2 by 2 um, I mean, you might be able to make a... <laughs> it might be making like an L shape or something. Um, but yeah, you end up making cells that look like Tetris blocks and we're not going down that route just yet. That could be an expansion thing. Either way, that is where we will call it there. I'm glad we've got this up and running. It looks alright. We'll hand out some permanent punishments and hopefully people will be a little bit more protected. And uh, we'll have less deaths in custody, which is obviously always a good thing. So, as always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.